need you to take my son here to soccer practice. That was a running fry. They're dehydrated from the drought and the heat. Yeah, just go ahead and fill that up. Uncle Ben's gonna be real busy for a while. Okay, perfect. These are my bees. All right, November 13th, 2023. You're a dead November. man. Good morning, everybody. We have some volunteers coming today. Some beautiful new volunteers. We have a lot of guys working here today. Okay, guys, my new interns are here. They're gonna be helping us feed the capybaras today. Okay, go ahead and take this. What was your name again? Uh, it doesn't matter. Grab that. There you go. Oh, don't mind if I do. Is this yours? My, my dad let me take it to work today. Okay. Well, how's about we load this bad boy up with some feet, drive it to the back of the property. It'll be good for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll just drive back there. Okay, perfect. Well, the feed's in the little back little bin there. Okay. You see that? It says four-wheel drive, right? Yeah, yeah. We can just... We can okay, just... perfect. There we go. All right. Uh, ooh, ooh, watch out for that little gate there. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> That's fine. Just Venmo me like thirty dollars for that. Sorry, we'll be okay. I'm, I'm new here. That's fine. No, don't worry about it. You go this way. Yeah, go ahead. Go through this way. I prefer you don't hit my duck. And that's one of our other volunteers here. I don't know why he's filming us. Kind of cringe. Yeah, you can drive over the hoses. Just Venmo me like thirty bucks. Okay. And watch out for that little cinder block cinder there. Block. Yeah, you're gonna hit it. Yeah, I think you're good. Just keep it coming. Pull it a little bit closer. Yep, that's good. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, so this is the feed. So come on, get out of here. Come on. I'm not paying you to sit around. Okay, so this is the feed storage. This is what we call the store. Just need to take a bunch of this and move it to the back. Yeah, just keep loading them onto the front. Okay, perfect. I cringe that these Hondas don't have any trunk space. Okay, perfect. Thanks so much. Uh, if you could just grab that last one in there. You see that one in the back? Yep, okay. Yeah, perfect. You guys don't have anything to say about that. Do you? That's where you're gonna be sleeping tonight. I'm gonna take this bad boy for a joy ride. Just kidding, guys. Like I said, we take care of our interns here. We don't kill them anymore. Yeah, there we go. Oh, perfect. Whoa, oh, 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 perfect. Yeah, just go ahead and fill that up. Can't believe these Hondas have this new little feed shuttle. This really is a good farming vehicle. There we go. Yeah. yeah. For any of that wasted stuff, you could just Venmo me if that's okay. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it'll be like 200. Hey, thanks for helping me out with that, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, a lot, usually buy that much. Yeah, this is what I get just about every day for those ammo. Uh, and I'll be able to pay you back about three, four weeks. Wait, you uh, said you lost your wallet though. Uh, you yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'll Mark. pay you back. You know I'm good for it. Yeah, but like I just can't afford to have dinner tonight. Hey, I'm well, that's like, Hey, the cappies are going to be fed. That's all that matters. I haven't eaten in three days. Hey. Just cost me an orange, maybe. No, no, no. That's for the cappies. <laughs> that's for the cappies. Here at the Urban Rescue Ranch, we're thankful and blessed to have volunteers that are not only generous with their time, but also their resources. I'm doing this as a little advertisement for you guys. If you want to volunteer at the Urban Rescue Ranch as our volunteer, uh, we do have them pay for the majority of the feed for the animals. You need to bring your own transportation uh, so we can... So can you, hey, how man, do we I open think, this? I thing? think I broke this light bulb. That's, that's fine. Just demo me like thirty dollars. I'm running out of money. Open? It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about. Bay Day's coming in three weeks. It's leaking everywhere. It's full of watermelon juice. It's fine. Just Venmo me for that, and we'll call it even. It's my car. You're using my car, and you made me pay for the light bulbs and to run all this. I'm paying you to work here. You're making me look stupid. Hey, don't get too comfy over there. I'm gonna need you to clean out the intake bay in a second. Just one minute. I'm I'm uh, feeding him. Okay, you get one yeah, minute. I'm just feeding him. Good heaven. Turns out our new cichlids also enjoy eating watermelon. And because it was 108 degrees, I joined them. And it looks like all the wasps come here to drink as well. Hey, get that car out of here. If it wasn't for this pond, none of my bees would have a constant supply of drinking water. Okay, one last thing. I need you to take my son here to soccer practice. If you could just go ahead and do that. Uh, it's going to be about a 30 minute drive there and back. I hope you don't mind. Uh, he's not very good with holding it in. Okay. All right, see you soon. Hit rapper and artist to baby. We actually did get a call about an orphan deer at this property. Apparently he got stuck in their fence and the landowners left some water out for him. He was fine and we were able to herd him out of the fence. This is actually the oldest still standing house in Waco, Texas. He was clearly weaning age, so he did not need us to come and take him or give him bottle feed or anything like that. Okay, time to see if my new intern got in a car accident with my capybara. Wow, this is awesome. And turns out the bees also love the fruit we got. How often do they Thing you're at. All right, boys, not that often. Take a look at this, you guys. These are my bees. For some reason, they love these watermelons. I'm gonna carry this over and put it right by the hive so they don't have to travel as far. Man, this is what I'm gonna do from now on. Instead of giving them nectar, you guys, I'm just gonna start giving them a half a watermelon over in that little area. That's all the lumber that we're gonna use for the eagle enclosure. Now we just need some boys to put it together. You guys can see my hive is doing really well, and we're at a point, I think, now where we need to actually make it bigger. We could add a few more boxes at this point. I'm sure this thing is full. 
full of honey, but I haven't ever harvested it. Everybody said, oh, Uncle Ben's neglecting his bees. No, no, I said they can't eat fruit. The bees are just freaking out right now. Yeah, keep doing, yeah, keep feeding the cappy. Yeah, that's real nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this little guy to the IRS office because he's in a little bit of trouble, huh, Gord? Love you, boy. Keep it up, sport. Let's get out of here, you little troublemaker. Okay, it's time for this little fella here to pay his taxes. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Sadly, Uncle Ben took a few more Benadryl than he should have for his allergies. And it didn't help that Gort was trying to eat the stick shift like an apple. Thankfully though, Gort was actually the only one that was hurt, injured, or died in this accident. Yeah, we're good. We got all of this rolling. Get out of there now, dude. Get out of there. It's not worth that. And I guess you could say old Uncle Ben learned his lesson today about the, his limitations when it comes to over-the-counter allergy medications. Dude, that's a Ferrari, dude. That was a running Ferrari. Thankfully, Big Ounce just graduated the Fire Academy, and here he is putting out the flames. He sure is a jack of all trades. And obviously, my intern was a little upset that I wrecked his car and their rental van, but, but I just said to him, there's no use crying over spilled milk when there's good old copper wire to harvest. What do we have in here? Don't mind if I do. Oh, my God. And thankfully, I brought all my herping spotlights, and we were able to find a treasure trove of little salvageables. <laughs> Stop drinking the evidence. I'm thirsty. It's so gross, dude. I'm thirsty. Shut up. But thankfully, our intern was able to ship the rest of the parts of his dad's Ferrari back up to where he's from, which I think was New York. Sadly, I did have to drive our interns up to Dallas that night because the next day they had to drive the young man who's going to fight my son to baby and uh, to a concert or something like that. Because of that, I got to spend the night in Dallas and check on our geese family that I rehomed, Obama, Donald Trump, and Drake. As you can see, they're doing well and they're much happier here. I was about you guys leave a like for Donald Trump Obama and their baby being successfully rehomed. Also, someone just dropped off this baby squirrel while I'm editing this, so I'm giving him Pedialyte. Uh, like I said in the last video, you guys, we have a legally binding verbal agreement and commitment from Jake Paul uh, to fight the baby on uh, November 13th, 2023. It was the 13th. Remember the old lore when Tommy came and I threw Kevin at Tommy. As you can see here, uh, he came very close to killing him. It's mini-ass arms. <laughs> Jake, it has four arms, Give him Jake. one year. Give him till November 13th, 2023. November 13th. November and he even made fun of the baby for being an orphan. Yeah, the guy for his family. That was low. He doesn't even know his mom and dad. Jake, Jake, yeah, he's an orphan. He's an orphan. We get it, Jake. Meat farm, Jake. My meat yeah. farm. They were gonna hunt him. Yeah, he orphans, yeah. Paul. And Jake, Paul, kangaroos can't stand on their tail. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they put, yeah. No, he's... Oh, sorry. J he's based awesome. Jake, Paul knows about kangaroos. <laughs> he and the kangaroo are gonna defeat you, Jake. All right, November 13th, 2023. You're a dead November man. November 13th, 2023. There you have it, guys. Just as good as a legally binding document. Can someone please edit this and put uh, the baby's face and the correct date on? Morning, everybody. I'm here to pick up a hawk. There's another hawk that was in someone's yard. It's down for some reason. So I brought my handy net and a towel uh, and those gloves. This is what I initially thought was a Mississippi kite, but it could also be a red shoulder hawk or a Cooper's hawk. And this was actually the eighth or ninth raptor in Waco alone that I have rescued in the last four weeks. I think a lot of juveniles are dropping out of trees because they're dehydrated from the drought and the heat. And one of its parents I could likely see circling overhead, so I looked around for a while to find the nest. Sadly, we couldn't find the nest, and because these folks have dogs, cats, and kids, we can't leave them in here. So I brought them home to rehydrate them, give them food, and bring them to all things wild. Good night, big ounce. I'm doing my laundry right now, you guys, and I gotta go help those guys clean out the Ferrari scraps from that field so the landowner doesn't get mad. Big ounce, would you like to come with us to clean out Ferrari scraps from the field just kidding it's too dangerous for him i'm just gonna bury him in my clothes okay here we are back at the scene of the crime which wasn't a crime because the landowners actually just felt bad for us and thankfully all these crops had already been harvested so the landowner and the farmers that lease it don't even care okay just help these boys load up all the rest of those bags and now there's no more trash in this field i had shards of metal in my skin and clothes for weeks if your hands don't look like this and you're eating your bagel you might be a sissy and a perfect little thing Thing for you to have tank there you go sir <laughs> also guys it's me from the future uh somebody dropped off two more baby squirrels uh, so we've gotten three squirrels today and someone's actually giving us another one but take a look at this this is what actually happens just in the passenger seat 
and Gort was driving and he crashed it because uh, there was a little too much corn in those tires. So this is what actually happened, you guys. And you can go see all of that on our intern's channel. I forget what it was called, but you guys can go ahead and look in the description. Our intern has a channel too. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of these guys because we got a lot of work to do. See, these poor babies were bit by ants. But we now have all the materials we need to take care of a bunch of baby squirrels. So Uncle Ben's gonna be real busy for a while, but I love you guys, I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching these videos. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh, I almost forgot to tell you.